Uh, Were there any other characters? What do you mean? Like, did we miss one? Before we get back to Jamie and Tyrion oh, okay. and Tywin and Shay. Uh, mm, hold on, let me think. We did Jon Snow, Arya, Bran, Tyrion. All right. So when we last left King's Landing... Uh, oh, we did Daenerys? Yeah, it's Tyrion. Yeah, it? Jamie and Cersei were banging. And then uh, after that little speech where Jamie, I guess, kind of feels, you know, Cersei doesn't, obviously doesn't give a shit about Tyrion and also wants him com- Sorry. completely destroyed and cut out like like a cancer. And so uh, yeah. he take, Tyr- you see Tyrion uh, laying on his back in the cell and the door's open and he uh, what, Tyrion says something funny there. Just do it, you son of a fucking whore. Yeah. And Jamie's like, is that any way to talk about our mother? <laughs> uh, so basically Jamie's releasing Tyrion and uh, one he thing... Says, be- oh, go ahead. They didn't make this obvious in the show but basically, boss, underneath King's Landing... Yes, I'm listening. Underneath King's yeah. Landing, there are tons of like secret tunnels, little oh. passages, secret little doors, and Boss stuff like that. Secret stuff, stuff that even Tywin doesn't know. And this also explains how Varys, especially in the books, would kind of appear in places. Mm-hmm. And the other thing in the show, they he'd never be in really Tyrion's room all of a sudden. Yeah. He'd be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, like Tyrion would like go to his tower when he used to be the Hand, and like Varys was there. But then sometimes Varys, he would be like, "Is that Varys?" Because Varys would be completely disguised. Varys yeah. was like a master of disguise, and he would uh-huh. always be listening in and be places. Don't they also <laughs> use the tunnels yeah. to like, be like sneak the coat shame. hanger? <laughs> <laughs> wow, he changed his shape. Yeah, yeah. The coat they, hanger's they bald, that, uh, really bald. <laughs> Man, the the coat is hanging in the closet, but it, it it's, it's so full. It looks like someone's wearing it. Yeah, uh, I bring this up now because the statue uh, didn't the statue used to have balls on it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's naked. <laughs> Who's saying that? I'm pretty sure the statue had had genitals. This is your concern. Yeah. Look what's going on around here. <laughs> the statue doesn't have balls. <laughs> Get your head in the game. Aren't you supposed to be watching Tyrion Lannister? No, no. Look at the statue. Who? <laughs> what did the uh, Roman Catholic Church come through here in the Middle Ages or ancient Greece and cut off all the balls off the statues? That's what they did. During the Ball Inquisition. No, no, that's what they seriously did. All really? the ancient Greek statues, when they have the leaf over the private parts, that was done by the church. because They it was actually a- put leaves? Yeah. They put like they would cut off the genitals and put leaves so no one had to see genitals because it was offensive. Pope Prude the first. <laughs> Pope Prude. All did that. Uh, uh, so yeah. yeah, so Jamie's uh, busting Tyrion out. Uh, and then he's Shows him to like, the door. Yeah, if you go up the stairs, knock twice. Then walk, knock twice again. Varys is going to help you. You got friends after all. Yeah. And then Tyrion's like, hold on a second. Hold the phone. I, well, if I, I just like. Unfinished business. I guess oh. it's our last goodbye. Yeah. Which was. So in the book, this is one thing we were going to talk about. And I can't remember if, if in a previous episode, Jamie already comes clean about this. But in the book, don't. Tyrion and Jamie leave on rather bad terms because Jamie admits to him then that he was aware of what Tywin did with with Tyrion's first wife. Yeah, Tysha. That was her. Is name. that what her name was? The whore. Yeah, but so when when he does say that in the book, you know, he knew what was going on when he said, "You watch the girl. I'm going to go after these guys." When when this it was woman in that comes out of the, the only woods. time they reference it is in that scene right before the battle with Rob Stark, where they captured the Kingslayer Jamie. Uh, the, you know, Bronn and Shay, they're drinking, having a drinking game. Look at the fun. Look at the fun we're yeah, having. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's where uh, Tyrion spills his guts about... Right. But Jamie, so Jamie didn't admit that he knew what was happening bef- that's where at he, some point after that? That's where he would have done it as, at their last goodbye, I yeah, believe, in I'm the saying, book. So I don't know if he ever... I can't remember if he actually ever did in the series or in the show, I, don't think I they mean. Did. I think or they... if he never did. But that's when it would have, that's when it happens in the book. So yeah. they don't leave on good terms. And then I also can't remember what happens before, if the big thing that we're about to talk about happens before or after that. But um, Happens after. It does happen after? Okay. Yeah. So then Tyrion... Um, I believe. He does not go to meet Varys just yet. Hmm. He decides to go to the Tower of the Hand mm-hmm. through the, the, the Tywin Salar there, <laughs> through the secret tunnels, and he finds the bedroom uh, with the the clothes with the uh, hand uh, symbol on it. Yeah. That and right before that, they show the, like, the big the Lannister lion symbol. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. He's walking in, and then there is a, there's somebody in the bed. You see, like, and you can tell it's a woman. And then, uh, you know, the voice says, Tywin, come back. You know, is that you, my lion? And you, you it's revealed that it's Shay in the bed. Hmm. And then, uh, then Sh- Tyrion's like, oh, shit. And he starts to move forward. She grabs a knife, and, uh, and then Tyrion's honor, like, 
he's pushing the knife away. They they're wrestling. She's wearing a necklace. He like goes off of the bed. He starts choking her uh, with the knife. He chokes her to death. Yeah, um, which uh, they, they don't make it obvious, but he was sp- he's supposed to choke her with a gold chain that he had given her yes. in the past. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I, one thing when I was watching it again, I, I was curious as to what you thought, because when I first saw it, I was like, oh, she grabbed a knife and she was going to try and kill him. But then when I watched it again, just with you now, I realized, oh, I did she grab the knife to defend herself because she knew that Tyrion would, you know, react um violently because of what he just discovered because she doesn't like take it and try and lunge at him she just like he he's moving and then she just grabs it and then he's like on her uh and right. then it looked like more like she was trying to do it to like fight him away from her i think than, she was about because my first thought was like oh shit and then she tried to kill tried to stab him or something i think she was definitely going to try and stab him because yeah. that's what i thought first but then when first I of all he's again, a prisoner she knows she's a prisoner he escaped now it probably goes through her head like, oh, I, I was at his trial. I said all those horrible things. Yeah. And, you know, obviously then I was in uh, union with his father so that they set this up. Like, <laughs> in, obviously, in Congress. Yeah, like she knows like, oh, he's not going to be ha-. So she took it probably as, as a defense. So, uh, yeah, maybe That's she That's what was- I mean. I think she just took it because she knew he was go- he was going to come at her. Yeah, it happened not, so quick. Not to preemptively strike him. Maybe there was a half preemption there and then mean, jumped to the point it's, the whole yeah. thing was like what the fuck and then anyway yeah. she's fucking dead she's dead shay has gone slut bag <laughs> uh Tyrion moves on he then then he uh spots the crossbow yes. over in the corner and then there was an awesome shot of him just dragging he's holding the crossbow and he's dragging like the thing to load it up again yeah, on like, the ground sh- 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 and then he gently sets that down on the wall pushes the door to the privy open and then there's Tywin sitting on the chamber pot taking a dump <laughs> or trying to anyway mm. and then uh that was a really cool scene he's very manipulative in that scene Tywin he yeah. keeps saying Tywin definitely knows that Everything he's saying is a lie. Everything that guy does is like the first. His first thing is like he's doing the head game. Was like, oh, let's go to my place and we'll talk about. It. Like, let's talk in my chambers. Yeah. yeah. His first thing he's trying to try and do is like let's just alleviate the situation immediately. And yeah. you know, Tyrion doesn't give him like a, a anything. Yeah. Um, one thing they did differently in the show is that he shoots him multiple times. I find the show likes to do that. In the book, I think wasn't it <laughs> one shot in the gut? One shot and in then, the gut. And then, <laughs> yeah, in the book. After he's shot, you hear his bowels, his bowels. release, oh, and then it's, there is a extremely foul stench. Yeah, I was Ew. I was waiting for that because the last thing that people are going to find of this great leader who everyone feared is him half naked on the toilet with a bunch of shit everywhere. <laughs> and he and then so yeah so like uh, you know they have this conversation. Tyrion ends up killing him as we just said, but he shoots. And, but in the book, so what happens is boss. Uh, and uh, there's also, we've talked about it online in our spoiler episode, mm-hmm. uh, the first part that we did. Yes. Um, it, it's believed that um, that Oberyn actually has already, Tywin was going to die already because Oberyn had poisoned him. Oh. Uh, and so, like, one of the Ow. reactions, so, well, there's all this well, stuff in the see, book. See, I wouldn't say too much because you don't know if they're going to hint at that later on. You don't know how would that, it, that's the thing, like, with the mountain I don't and think stuff they're like... going to hint on at that, though, with uh, with this now. How, what are they gonna, like how next are they season? Hit? Oberyn's dead. Tywin's dead. dead. Who cares? All right. Well, okay. This is just a theory, but and, just and it's so different from the book already. Because right. what happens is in the book, I'm saying it anyway. Yes, yeah, I'm saying it anyway. But okay. Stupid. Well, boss overruled. He overruled. Okay. It, it sounds what? like a spoiler. I'm trying to protect but... you so you get the most out of the story. I don't think no, it's a spoiler what? anymore because all these characters are done. That's yeah. He's yeah. dead. Yeah. So I don't think it's spoiler. But um. That's there because what happens is so what happens is uh, one of the side effects of the poison would be that uh, you become extremely constipated, Ew. and so he he can't. So then he's he's on the toilet. That's why he's oh, like so all the shit there. releases, yeah. and um, and then there's other things like Oberyn always said uh, he wanted the voice that uh, that said the uh, the man who said the words, not just the man who swung the sword. So he wants Tywin revenge on Tywin as much uh-huh. as he does on the mountain. And then, uh, like, there's a part in the book the one guy had uh, had cited where uh, he cites many things, but one of the ones that I remember was he says Ty- uh, Tyrion's looking for him, and uh, somebody says, "Oh, Oberyn and Tywin are in Tywin Salar, like having breakfast together," and they're like saying that's so weird, mm. like why would they be doing that? So he may have poisoned him at that time. Yeah. Um, all kinds of stuff, but basically, and then they and then they or maybe they, he just put in one of his pills he takes every night. 
Yeah, to bang Shay. Didn't Tywin look <laughs> uh, especially constipated during his conversation with Cersei this episode? He Can did. you tell He's he like, looked look, a little backed up? I don't have time up. for this. I think I have to go. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, and then also the, the stench. So when he is killed and he releases his bowels, it's like extra bad. Ew. And then even later on, like, people... Uh, this isn't a spoiler. Like they but think this is that see, his... these are scenes that are coming up. So so people see his corpse. We already know that he's been found because that's why Varys doesn't go back. Okay. And so they think that he like smells extra bad. He smells like really weird. It's like uh, super rotten. Same thing with the mountain. Remember Cersei was covering her nose? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So that's it. That's all I'm saying. I didn't say anything that's about fine. how okay, he comes no. back to life and starts killing Cersei and Jaime. Right, right. And then he crowns himself king of everything. King of hot. King of everything. And then he marries Daenerys and bangs a dragon. <laughs> he didn't say I that. I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. <laughs> Finally, then Tyrion goes back to the little door. He knocks, da 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 Varys answers. He's like, what the hell took so long? <laughs> oh, he goes, what have you done? Yeah, what have you done? Puts what him in a have crate. What done? Oh. <laughs> Good Varys impersonation. <laughs> um, they start loading Tyrion up into a little boat, or a big boat. In a little crate. Who knows where that's going? And Varys is like, all right. You know, he's like, trust me, you're going to be fine. And then he's leaving the docks. And then as he's walking back towards King Someone's Landing, sounding the king's dead bell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, hear ye, the hear ye. The Tywin's, I know that bell. Tywin's dead the, bell. Somebody's like, this, it's a specific bell that's <laughs> right. only used yeah. when Ty, if, in the case that Tywin is killed while pooping. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ding dong. Ding 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 dong. Ding ding dong. Oh. <laughs> so then Varys is like, uh, you know what? <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, Let's no. take a vacation. Yeah. No. I think I'll go with you, Tyrion. Ooh. <laughs> Wash my hands of this little enterprise. And they cut out the part where Tyrion and uh, Varys are on a beach sipping uh, martinis. Or the part where Varys sticks his dick in one of the holes in the crate. He's like, do you know what Turns this is Turns out called? he's not a eunuch after Lord all. Tyrion, a glory hole. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> That's Tyrion. <laughs> I wonder what dick he's sticking in. Yeah, that was my joke. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. that would be like a reveal for the last shot yeah. of the season. Oh, yeah. Turns yeah, out he, he has goes, a penis. Liar! <laughs> you hear from the box. <laughs> Tyrion bites it. <laughs> oh, like, now I'm going to turn you into a eunuch for real, <laughs> Captain, asshole. Captain turns around the ship. I'm going to like this voyage. <laughs> it's gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> Set sail for sexy town. Huh? Credits. This captain is weird. <laughs> Cut to the credits. Okay. Is that That's it? That's basically it. We talked about every. So uh, yeah, it's episode. So yeah, and then uh, Oxnard after the last scene, he starts going, "What? What?" I was, I was he was shocked confused. about some things, which we will address in our soon-to-be-out spoiler episode mm-hmm. um, about some things that I. I think a lot of people really thought were going to happen in this finale that uh, that didn't. So uh, maybe they never will happen, but we'll see. So apparently this show, it hates prologues and epilogues. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, basically. Yeah, it, I don't think it's addressed anything in any of them. Maybe in the first episode. Yeah, I think that's that, it. That's it. There was that prologue. That's Yeah, that's it. I can't it. recall any other. Yeah. At the end of each book and at the beginning... Because, you know, prologue and epilogue, and they have something to do with characters basically we've never seen before, and there's always a little twist to it. That relates oh, to... Oh, so you're going to get... Else. I was going to get some new stuff? New people? We, well, you should have been getting a lot. That's why every think, season they I always think, cut out... Well, the epilogue of the third book is very, very important. Yeah, that's uh, why I was shocked. <laughs> and so I really thought, like a lot of people did, as we saw in some comments, that the epilogue of the third book was going to be in this episode. I don't know. That's all I have to say. Hot damn. Anyway, I guess it's time for What Did Boss Think? What did Boss Think? What did he think? I don't really have a song. What did Boss Think? The finale. Whoa, man. Got lots of stuff that I thought. Here we go. That's man, it. Man, first one. Mance yeah. has a long face. Okay. Anybody agree with me? Because he's sad? I don't know. He just has a really long face. Did you ever know? I thought he him? always looked like Alan Rickman's brother. It's very long. Alan Rickman. Elongated. Looks Alan, a little like Alan, he's melting. Is that supposed to be Alan Rickman? Alan, Alan Whitman. And now I got lots Alan of Stannis That's questions. That's the worst Alan okay. Rickman impersonation I, ever done. And I know that he got the letter about the wall and stuff, but... Then I was confused. What He he got all that money just to go to the, above the wall? 
And then I was thinking, no, oh, not just maybe to go up there. it's part of maybe a grander he, scheme. Okay, so he's just trying to take over the north. Then maybe is that it? No, 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 no. It's about they knew what was going on in the north. The yeah. whole his thing. Everyone in Westeros, south of the wall, no one gives a shit about what's going on north of the wall. Except Stannis, he fucking cares for some With reason. With the guidance of Davos, Davos is a smart guy. He's seeing the bigger picture, and he's trying also, to... Also, it goes into, like, Melisandre and stuff. Like, yeah. So this, like, light versus dark, you know, her... her and Melisandre, religion, so it's all in one episode, like related. agrees with Davos' uh, advice. Yeah. Mm. And so once uh, Stannis hears Melisandre say, yeah, you're going to need this guy, then he's like, okay, I hold your opinion in higher esteem. All right. Now here's another one. How did they get through the wall? They just go, they just, do they sail above the wall and just get off the boat? No, basically there's a, yeah, there's an in, along the northern coast, mm-hmm. there's kind of like this rocky area. Right. If I remember correctly, that's where they landed. So why don't the wildlings just make boats well, and go south? Well, think about that. Yeah, you I thought about it. You have to get these Why groups of, like, what is it, 30, this 50 is, tribes? Well, the thing is that they, these guys have never even been united before until now. Yeah. So it's not like they always have been like this. I think this of, is an extremely unique situation mm, for the wildlings. They have never united under one person, ever. I think some kind of boat builder should have united them, then they would have just Brand, sailed only south. Only Bran the Builder was around to build them some boats. Instead, right. he built the wall to keep them up there. Yeah. And there didn't seem to be many wildlings. I thought there were like thousands of wildlings. There was like fifty of them, and he and that was you mentioned it too. He walked straight to Mance's tent. I think you have to <laughs> assume that a lot of time passes. Yeah. So you're just seeing like certain okay. parts. You don't want to see the part where like Jon Snow's like goes up to the two drunken wildlings. Is is, is Mance right? His tent over there. What are you? What is it? what? You fucking cunt! Uh, I'm gonna ask someone else. Hey, is Mance right? Is that? Hey. Get that guy! No, 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 no. Yeah, well, it's not in the budget. You mm-hmm. can't do that. No, in the bloody budget. Okay. This wasn't Neil Marshall. This was Alex Graves. I'm Alex Graves. Everything's in the budget. That's how it sounds. Yeah. And I Let's leave out I things. Apparently oh, things Alex that... Graves. Mm. Fuck right. it. Here's my next... I'm going to have Jon Snow go right for the tent. Mm-hmm. Here's my next thought. <laughs> please, please, please make a Mecca Mountain awesome. Please, please, please make a mountain... I gotta You're see the, the Mecca Mountain height. Mountain. Everybody knows he's great. This is now the Animaniac song. Mecca or maybe, Mountain. Or maybe he'll give him some kind of weird growth hormone, so he'll be like bubbling. I mean, he's gonna like... become Bane. But I don't know. I think it's Poison a Ivy than Bane. is going to infuse him. Like, I've developed the first anabolic steroid. <laughs> he has. You know what? Maester Kybern has the power. He can make him stronger, faster, and better than he was before. Uglier. <laughs> ugly hey he was an ugly guy uh, alright don't so... get started on this <laughs> we, already have, we already have 40 minutes Hold of Dexter <laughs> talking about the mountain yeah. loving him tenderly muscles on muscles <laughs> I thought the Shit. I thought the Hodor part could have been cooler. I mean, it, I, if I were Bran, I'd be like Hodor here when we were at the what's his face's camp, Craster's Keep. I would have been, hey Hodor, take that Holder. take that pole arm, put it on your back just in case I need it, and then he would have had a cool weapon for this fight. I think it would be cooler if could've you could have seen him spinning it like Oberyn. It'd be awesome. You could be helicoptering. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's it. Oh, door. Oh, 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 oh. I think it would be cool if if you're warging something like a human or something that has a capability, you know, someone who has a capability to speak, you can speak through them as well. Mm. Like he would have brain would have been able to speak through Hodor. But all I can say is Hodor. He could do sign language. (laughs) No, but that's what I'm saying. Maybe he wouldn't have been. He'd be able to see like, children, fear not. It is I, Bran, (laughs) in Hodor's body. If the voice was that ridiculously (laughs) different. I will save you. (laughs) I've asked. Yeah, instead he, he, he turns into Guillermo. Instead they gave him like Hello there, young Bran. Yes. Ah. <laughs> instead they we gave him the tiniest little hammer that they could find, it seemed like. It was just this, it barely had a, a handle. It was just like hammer sticking out of his fist. That's yeah, what it looked yeah. like. It was, it was probably like for just like if you want to make a tent and you gotta put like spikes in the snow <laughs> or something. Yeah. Set up a badminton net. Yeah, I thought that could have been, I thought that could have been better. I mean if you're making that scene, don't you have some imagination? Like give him some kind of cool weapon. Give him a big like scythe or something. Yeah, you know that'd be awesome. Or and like then... uh, or a shotgun. By the way, how did Stannis over take over the giants that were left? When the giants well, like no, I think the knees what they hit the knees. Is that um, because uh, the giants would Mag listen? Or, um, uh, 
Oh yeah, the giant and the king. Mighty. Yeah. They just He's all... the king. I think they all just kind of like were like, "Fuck this!" Yeah, and yeah. And they disbanded. They turned into rocks. <laughs> Second and the, the sun king came guy. up <laughs> <laughs> to sleep thousands of years until they have a new king. That's what I think. Uh, and then when the Hound and Brienne were fighting, there was I like the part when you know after he was gripping her sword, it seemed like he was gonna break her neck, but then she then she punched him in the nuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was pretty yeah. good. Uh, it was like, also a point where he, I thought he stabbed her, but she somehow. Yeah. But I think it was just a punch. I think he lost know. his knife. They kept point. they kept making you guess who was gonna win. It was very back and forth until she bit off his ear. What do you think was, it was you, like? Uh, you thought one of them was definitely gonna die, right? Oh yeah, that's why. That's why I was like, hmm, this escalated quickly right after she bit his ear oh, off. Okay. <laughs> were you leaning more towards? So were you leaning more towards Brienne or the Hound for most uh, of them? Well, when Brienne wasn't killing him, I was like, oh, this is gonna be the death of her. <laughs> But okay. I well, was. Well, when she wasn't killing him, I thought she was going to. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> no, she, she knocked him, him down she gonna and she wasn't going to kill him. She's yeah. like, oh, I don't want to kill you. That's why I thought she was going to oh, die. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, then, I, then I thought he was going to break her neck because he almost did. But then they switched that up. It was crazy. Uh, and then I was mad at Arya, that little jerk. Why don't you kill the hound? Just kill him. Stab because him. she fucking hates the hound. I don't give a damn. Oh, okay. Hound saved you. He was traveling with you. He's guarding you. Well, Stab he him in the heart. He what a jerk. He took her against her will. And I was hate like, Arya I'm gonna now. I'm going to ransom you. No, I hate her now. She's on my kill list. Uh, well, she hates wow. you. Wow. By the way. <laughs> my kill list? Yeah. So last season, in our equivalent review of last season finale, Boss was like, I love Arya. I want to see her become an assassin. Do oh, all this cool stuff. Oh, my favorite character. Now it's the exact opposite. At the last season finale view? Yeah. Review? Yeah, 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 yeah. But here's the other thing. Uh, the Hound. Remember I said my... After Oberyn died, I said the other characters that I remotely care about are Egret and the Hound. Now they're both that. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Whatever. Game, it's Game of Thrones. <laughs> all right. Now, here's, here's the big part. What are, what are these wood nymph people? What the hell was that? That's what it looks like. It looks like a little wood nymph. She's got wood weird nymph. wood nymphy hair. That's the children. Real muddy like. Got this leaf outfit. So you remember when um, Sam finds that dragon glass mm-hmm. at the Fist of the First Men? Yeah. Okay. That was made by the children. Mm-hmm. Like these, these people have been there. Alchemists? Since way before the First Men were. Mm-hmm. Okay. So like. What have they been doing? How many are there? Well, what are their know. names? Well, I don't know. What are they uh-huh. called? I know they, they were. Children. Are they humans? They had that huge spoiler where they go to the north and they show, like that's not even in the books, right? No, that yeah. was fucking nuts. Well, basically, the children and these the White Walkers and that Shadow King, yeah. they've been like at war for yeah. eons. So the children are kind of like, put up some obsidian here, and they you know trolley yeah, lock like through the like woods. An ancient cache of weapons that was found there. Um, and that's why, like, that when Sam uses it, that's the only thing that, that we know of at this point that can defeat one of the White Walkers. Hmm. I think they were fire. She had something in her hand, but I think it's just, like, rocks that she imbues with fire. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking of, I like, think. uh, Gandalf. It's nothing special. It's not like she made a grenade. In The Hobbit, where they yeah. light the ac- right. uh, big acorns or whatever yeah. on fire. I think that's what it was. Ugh. Um... And then, with the skeletons, the reason I like the skeletons, because it makes me think that, you know, some kind of necromancer is holding them together. Because, you know, the thing with skeletons is, like, they don't have muscles, you know? So what keeps, no, the, the, what keeps the bones is. together? Yeah, no, because in uh, fantasy games, there's different kinds of fantasy, like right. high fantasy, which is what Game of Thrones is. You do have this element of, like, trying to keep it as realistic right. as possible. Then when you get the more D&D stuff, you can just kind of... Or like World of Warcraft, so uh, you just make up whatever shit you want and you just... Oh, yeah, magic made this scarecrow golem or this... Yeah, or this blob monster. Yeah, like, that can exist here. Yeah. So, but Game of Thrones, it is weird to see kind of like basically skeletons right out of, like, David and the Argonauts. But like, it could be... With no connective tissue. But hold on, bones. though. It could be... Like, when Mira's, like, stabbing one, she's just, like, breaking them apart. Yeah, Basically, because yeah. there's nothing to stab. But that's the she's thing. She's just, like, dismembering the bones. Maybe it's just... It's not like it's recreating the skeletons. It's like something is controlling them and holding their bones together like some kind well, of magic. Same, that's what well, I'm thinking. Well, it's the yeah. same thing that, like, what Jon Snow was saying, you got to burn the bodies. It's the same thing 
that's happening there. Except those things have been there for so long. Yeah. I don't think that's flesh the case. Off. I yeah, don't that's think definitely that. the case. I will put no, that on. Yeah, I don't agree with that. They're whites. Nope. Yeah, we'll see what people think. No, I don't because agree with that. That's the same thing. Like you know, remember when um those those whites attacked uh, Commander Mormon? Remember in his yeah. chambers, they those two did, they came back to life. And every time like someone's killed by a White Walker, like their eyes are blue, uh-huh. they come back to life um, after they've been killed. That's what happened to them. Only they're they've been there dead for so long that they're now just skeletons. That's why one of them has some nope. skin still on it. Mm-hmm. Like one of them is not as decomposed as the other ones. Like, it stands up, and then there's, like, the one woman, the one, like, uh, I thought it was a female one. It has some skin on it. Yeah, it does have skin on it. I don't disagree You're shaking your head no. No, but I think... This is what I disagree with. I think that they're different. There's, like, I think that there's the same way that that three-eyed raven dude Hmm. is watching everybody. I think that this evil guy in charge of the whites is watching everybody, and at that moment, he made those skeletons... So come like up and, and, and sort of like he animated them and he saw what was happening that's what so. i think i don't think so i think it's the same principle that applies to the you other you might be ones. right no it's not the same principle <laughs> because i really don't know you you're contradicting yourself i think cuz it's no, the reason you didn't like the skeletons cuz they're not realistic i'm saying they are for cuz they're a different kind <laughs> of i'm saying they are realistic because a necromancer is controlling them <laughs> right so realistic well, right no, it's I'm a different saying, i'm using different logic no, I'm here i'm not saying, saying they're... no i just thought it was cheesy that it was skeletons i thought because some not all of them were total skeletons. Some of, like, two of them definitely had more rotten skin on them than mm. the other so ones. So, th- implying that they that used to be looked, whites. Yeah. That they used These to are look, like whites that are so more. decomposed. That's what he's saying. But That's I understand what, what you're been saying. They've there for so long. That it could be, like, maybe there is an opposite force mm. that. I don't know. I'm not that. disagreeing with you. There may be a force that's what's making them come back and controlling them. But I'm saying that it's all the same thing. Like, they, they are white whites. And but they've just rotted to the point where now they're just skeletons. All right. But you could still be right. I think it could be that we're both yeah, right. Different theory. White. I have the white and skeleton theory. You have the white, all white theory. Could we'll be, see what the anything. viewers. The skeletons think. are whites. That's what I'm saying. Well, they're I'm just... saying something different. You just need to accept that that's my opinion. No, you're saying the same thing. No, I'm saying there's <laughs> skeletons and whites, and there's a difference. This is. He's difference. saying there's a difference. So you're saying a white can't lose its. Flesh? I'm saying there's a difference. No, he's just saying. No, okay, saying, consider a dead this. Body can't. <laughs> Cons- you're consider saying, so you're this. Saying, I'm, that don't I, my opinion is that. No, but a listen, listen, listen. Hold on, hold on. Saying, so my opinion's wrong. No, it's the thing. No, no, no. I'm hold just, on, wait, I'm wait, 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 wait. So you're saying that the whites, when when a dead body comes back, you're saying that the flesh doesn't rot. I'm saying there's a difference between a white and a skeleton. That's he said. You know, the same way there's a but white. What is the difference? Listen, listen. The white. Okay, it's like the guy in, in the Black Key who came to the life and was attacking... Uh, Commander Mormon. There. Yeah. yeah. Okay, a White Walker is the guy who attacks Sam. Yeah. The the super people, that's something else entirely. No, those are White Walkers. Okay, so what's the guy who attacked Sam? That's a White Walker. Okay, and so... Uh, the, I believe... what There's a difference. A White Walker and a White are two different He's things. saying there's a third category. Skeleton. Skeleton. Hmm. <laughs> Which I would... Now I really here, look, don't agree. No, if you really want to just think about it, it's still a White... It's a different kind of white that has much less flesh. It's a white it's, that's it's just un- lost its skin. No, the general <laughs> yeah, term okay, is I agree with you. the that's general term is undead. Not in this universe. Oh, well, did you write the books? Hmm? No, but we read the no, books. No, but we read the books. <laughs> well, I'm sure they're they don't, called they, whites. They don't tell you the difference. They are called whites. They're called whites. Well, we'll see. No, we'll they see. Are. Yes, because we, we'll the show, see. the TV show's changing things. It's changing things. It is, but they're never referred to. First thing As they say next the season, they're going to be standing over them. Zombies! <laughs> Skeletons! <laughs> Definitely not whites. That's the first line. The first line. You're next wrong. There's next a guy year. with a big pipe <laughs> smoking in a lab coat. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Skeletons. Did you see that lab assistant? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. What else do you got? That's it. Oh. <laughs> That's it? Oh, okay. I thought you had a lot more. 